All praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Son, Ba Hashem Racha Kadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and that being in the Paleo Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and elders that great most own, taught us this epic truth and salutations to the hopeful elect. I wanted to go into this post from the Elder Yasha Wamba's YouTube page under the community guidelines from a few days ago about one of the latest findings about the food that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, that he has available for consumption, mainly here in America, that it's killing people, all right? That it's, it's highly carcinogenic. This is from Mail Online in the, under health. It says, thousands of everyday snacks that face being banned in multiple states because their ingredients are linked to cancer including Flamin' Hot Cheetos, Lucky Charms, and Gatorade. Okay, and these are extremely common and widely purchased and consumed products here in America. And here they have th the most lenient regulations on food. Okay, on the on the uh, administration of food. And a lot of the food that this man has available for consumption is fucking poison, okay? Let's go into this real quick. <clears throat> See, standard American diet. <clears throat> Standard American diet. The standard American diet contains a large amount of processed foods which do not necessarily contain animal products. Okay? So real fucking food is supposed to be from the earth. Fruits and vegetables. These things that these um, that the earth produces. Okay? Natural. And then of course the flesh of animals. But this man is over here genetically modifying ingredients, okay? Actually manufacturing and creating ingredients and, and um, different food components, all right? For different purposes, to cut costs, for, for, for fucking profitability. And also... F because this man abides by the principles of eugenics and depopulation, okay, to thin the herd. <clears throat> and primarily, he knows he makes this type of food available for Jake, for the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. They call it food deserts, where those demographics dwell at, okay? Lots of fucking markets and... <clears throat> and um, mini marts and shit like that and no uh, natural food uh, avail options available okay it says ultra processed foods make up about 60% of the average American diet and contain additives such as flavor enhancers stabilizers and preservatives okay so this man is knowingly killing the fucking people they said that you know, all processed meats and all these processed foods, they contain carcinogens, which gives you fucking cancer and destroys you, and eventually kills you. And then guess what he has? He's got the so-called remedy, which is standard me medicine, okay? <clears throat> modern slakia, modern medicine, these different uh, methods that they use to so-called heal you, but it's, it's killing you even more, all right? He's got the solution for you when you will heal. He's the one who diagnoses you with the fucking cancer, all right? Which we all have carcinogens in us in this fucking environment. But he'll diagnose you, and then he's got the problem. He's got the solution to that problem, which is going to further destroy you, all right? Motherfucking uh, chemotherapy radiation okay so um petroleum-based uh prescriptions and shit 
motherfucking poison. So he is a physician of no value. All right. This man is as death. And is not satisfied with blood, as it said. He heapeth together all people. This, this man is uh, fucking diabolical. And it, these things continue to be exposed. The skirts lifted on this fucking a piece of shit. Okay. That he is contrary to life. <clears throat> All right. Let's jump back in there real quick. Let's see. It says candy on the chopping block. So all these everyday fucking snacks that these people consume is killing them. Okay. This is in Ezekiel 4 and 13, and this is prophecy, all right, that the basis of men, this vile fuck, would get a hold of the food system of the earth, okay, and destroy the people with that, and primarily the children of Israel that are here in bulk, here in the land of the north in America, and here is the target area where food regulations are the most lenient okay <clears throat> the the american diet is worse than any other food system across the planet all right <clears throat> and yahweh said even thus shall the children of israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles whither i will drive them okay so just like it even says, the Most High sent this devil as an eagle, okay? <clears throat> sent him to destroy the northern kingdom here that was dwelling during the time of, the, of um, we'll, we'll go ahead and say, the Renaissance era, all right? <clears throat> Came over here, he sent him as swift as the eagle flieth. All right, and then sent him, sent this motherfucker over to massacre the southern kingdom, all right? Because <clears throat> even though he did round up a lot of Jake and bring him over here, a lot died in the process, all right? To drive us over here, the Most High did it through them. He drove us over here through the... the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of, all right, Esau, Edom, <clears throat> and in being driven over here, our food was going to be fucking defiled, our bread, this is a guarantee, you can't get around this, all right, there's only a thing that, of the preservation of the elect, that we're not fucking consumed, it's by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's mercy, that we are not consumed because <clears throat> the food um, dilemma, if you will, for the men of the Lord, us here the, from the apostles on down here at Great Millstone, the, the dilemma of food options is fucking diabolical work by the hand of this devil, all right? To try to find the right, um, the right food options is fucking... It's a major dilemma for the men of the Lord and really anybody who's trying to eat, to, um, to eat properly, okay? There's a saying that says, let thy food be thy medicine, all right? <clears throat> but it's on the contrary. The food is the shit that's fucking the people up to oblivion, okay? <clears throat> the food is what's causing all these underlying health issues, all right? And it was by design of the devil. This is in Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, all right? <clears throat> so this man, indeed Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the world calls is the origin they think is a uh, Caucasian. Well, it is. He's a he's the cave dweller, all right. 
that dwelt in the clefts of the rock. All right. <clears throat> in the caves and in the valleys. Where, where does it say that? Let me see. Maybe Job. Job 30 and 6, it says, to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. And we know this to be, you know, um, you, if you know, you know. Well, fuck it, I'll, I'll make you know that don't, them that don't. The Most High will make you know. All right, Job 30. Let's see. <clears throat> well, even this is a mystery. All right. <laughs> All this is a dark saying because it doesn't come straight out and tell you, where does it say white man is the Bible? Okay. <laughs> First of all, white was a construct that this motherfucker manufactured and designated to himself. All right? <clears throat> so, check it. It says in verse 5, They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. It says, To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Whose... A whole um, identity was tied into being in caves. The Caucasians, all right, which means a cave dweller, all right. Going back to those, um, the Caucasus Mountains over there, all right. This is this fucking man. <clears throat> right. And with the rulership of the earth that he's been given, he has turned things upside down. Okay. So it's definitive in these scriptures who these people are that it's in reference to. Who turned things upside down, all right? If you want to go through all the demographics of people on the planet and see based on track record, who has performed the most wickedness and destruction on the planet in history and to this point, it would, you'd have to have one fucking conclusion that you would come to, okay? And it's the so-called white man. They went as far as to call this man, um, one of the things they say is the blue-eyed devil, okay? This man that is responsible for so much chaos and turmoil across the planet to so many other people and to himself, okay, <clears throat> to even his own people, all right? It's only one people this can be. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. And this man, he's turned everything upside down, okay? <clears throat> that word, um, turning... Your turning of things upside down, it means to overturn, to pretty much turn something on its head. And what are you doing by that? You're, um, you're placing it out of order. Well, another word for that, it's hapak in the Hebrew. Hapak, the ha, the pa, and the ka, and you drop the a. On the ka, hapak, it says to pervert, perverseness. Okay, so he has perverted the natural way that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has set up, has established for mankind to operate by, right? <clears throat> Another place that, where this is, is in Isaiah 24, it speaks about this, okay? Under the, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Well, the current habitant, that habitant is primarily speaking to them in rulership. And the rulership of the earth is in the hand of the so-called white man, okay? <clears throat> so.
So, and what else does it go into? He says, it shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Okay. Because you took the position that you were given and you tried to remold what the Most High created and said was good. All right. To wob. That it was good when he created this way and established this way. Like, it, <clears throat> what does it say in Isaiah 24? These everlasting ordinances. Okay. He has perverted the shit. Um, and ultimately, the Most High is going to reform it. Okay. So the way that you have, you have turned this, these things upside down, it's going to be esteemed. It shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Okay. Because the true potter, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is about to reform it back into its proper and natural form. All right. <clears throat> In some translations, it says um, about the potter, um, pretty much. Um, you're you're considering the potter to be like the clay, okay? When Esau Edom himself is clay, okay? Clay is just synonymous for the creation of the Most High. That it, this was formed by Hal Bashim Yahu Shai, and um, and you're at the hand and the subject to the will of uh, that Creator. All right. <clears throat> it says, For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Okay. And that's essentially what Esau Edom, the so called white man, is doing when he um, infuses and implements these artificial ways into into life okay <clears throat> these ways that and philosophies that are contrary to the mind the mindset of Yahweh Bashim Shai. okay <clears throat> he thinks he's going to um see he's going to uh fix it all right, or make it better, or he's going to uh, remanufacture it, okay? <clears throat> but all those ways lead into destruction, okay? And finishing off, this is in Sirach 10. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people and the government and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. <clears throat> As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. An unwise king destroyeth his people, <clears throat> but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Okay. So this unwise king, this ruler, Esau Edom, that uh, lacks prudence to the ultimate degree, he's destroying the people. Okay. Wittingly and unwittingly. Okay. It talks about how um, even the tender mercies of this fucking demon are cruel, okay? <clears throat> he could be attempting to do good for someone, and he could be attempting to do good for, for himself and the people, but it's actually detrimental. He could actually try to fucking do something good, and then he's going to destroy shit in the process, Okay? <clears throat> but through 
the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Here's the point. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Okay? And this is what we look forward to, man. This is nothing but death on every side in this current um, empire, in this current existence, this current age. <clears throat> All right? It's current life. That's why the Apostle Gabar astutely coined a phrase that this is not living. We haven't experienced life. Okay? Because it is death. This is, like it says, the valley of the shadow of death. Okay, and as aforementioned, the scripture says that this man is as death. So it, the entire earth is in this state. All right, but in due time, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to set his son up over the eternal righteous kingdom. All right, that's been ordained since the beginning. This is the time that we look to come into, man. For eternity. All right. Like it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people will rejoice. All right. So with that, I'll praise on and glory to you. I'll bash him, y'all shy. Bash him, Shalom.